So what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another zombies video where today we are looking at the top five secret things you didn't know about the map Ascension. I believe this was DLC one for Black Ops one and arguably in my opinion this is one of my favorite maps that we have ever had in zombies. So it is a pleasure that I am making this video for you guys today. Just remember that this map came out all the way in Black Ops 1, which I believe was like, was it like 2010? That's a long freaking time ago. I'm gonna search this shit up. Was that like 2010? Black Ops came out in 20 freaking 10. So shit, seven years ago, this map came out. And because of that, I have to say, I have to remind you guys that some people watching this may know a couple of these. I mean, I assume that you guys are zombie pros, so I'm not going to take away the fact that a lot of you may know some of these. If you know all of them, then that's awesome. Let me know that you did in the comment section below. But this is for the people that didn't, and also it is just a cool thing to revisit this amazing map. So here we go, top five things you didn't know about Ascension. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like rating. That would be very much appreciated. Make sure you subscribe. And what, what was that, Eli? I will say, oh, wait, why, why am I doing the outro? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So coming in at number five is the Ascension poster. The first strike poster. No brains, no life, no mercy. Now, a lot of things are actually wrong with this. I wouldn't say wrong, but I'd say it's surprising. We have Dempsey at the front there holding the Wonder Wolf. That is our first mistake because the Wonder Wolf isn't even a freaking weapon that is in Ascension. That weapon is specific to Doris, or I believe it was in Shino Numa as well. Then we also have in the background there, we have... Takio. Again, Takio's holding the freaking Winter's Howl. That, wi that Winter's Howl is specific to the Rooked. Also, five. The Winter's Howl, these two wonder weapons, are not on this map, which is strange. Then at the background, we have Nikolai holding the Mark 1 Ray Gun. But what's most interesting is on the right, holding the Thunder Gun, is a character who is bald. And he's been a mystery in this poster for a very long time. Since we've had this poster seven years, no one still to this day knows who this character is. There's been loads of speculation surrounding it, and since then we've had some clarification, but we still don't know who this is. We asked Jason Blundell if this character was Richtofen, and he said no. Even though it doesn't look like Richtofen, it would make sense, right? We have our other three characters. The one missing is Richtofen. Our four crew is Nikolai, Takio, Dempsey, and the one, the only, our beloved, ripped off him but he's nowhere to be seen in this poster people thought that maybe this is him but it's being confirmed that it isn't so who could this be and where the hell is Richtofen. Some people also speculated that this is Gersh. Ages ago, we originally thought that Richtofen and Dr. Maxis probably or maybe made the Thunder Gun or had something to do with it, but it was revealed to us in Ascension that it was Gersh who was working on Project Thunder. He worked on the Thunder Gun in the Ascension group. So if that's the case, is this Gersh who is holding it? Some people have said that maybe this is Yuri. Is it one of those two main characters in Ascension. We honestly don't know because we don't know what any of those characters look like. It's not Richtofen. The only other character I could think it to be is Gersh. But still, we are unclear on this and we don't know. Other interesting things in this poster is the fact that we have a Nova 6 crawler, which again, they are not an Ascension. We have the monkeys, which are an Ascension. And then in the background there, we have the zombies and the rocket, which brings me on to number four. Now, for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who can't quite remember part of the ascension easter egg requires you to launch the rocket but what you can actually also do is take the rocket down now it's been years since the ascension easter egg so i can't remember 100 correctly but if i'm correct in saying taking down this rocket isn't part of the easter egg this isn't mandatory this is just an option you have if you want to and what you get out of this is a free power up if you do it yes if you use the ray gun and that's the only weapon that is effective you can as soon as this lock rocket starts to launch you can shoot it out of the sky it will blow up and this rocket won't launch now what the full purpose of this is or why it has or, or actually if this has anything to do with the storyline we don't quite know i don't think 
this has any implication on the storyline whatsoever. We don't know if there is anyone inside of this. All we know is that we are the ones who launch it. And if you want to, we can be the ones who take this rocket down. It's just strange as to why Treyarch would put this in. Why would we want or need to or even think about taking this rocket down? Unless it's going somewhere that we don't want it to. We know this map takes place in the 1960s during, you know, the prime time of the Cold War. So if you let this rocket take off in the game, from what we can tell, it doesn't have any implication on the story, but could it have been going to, I don't know, America or somewhere where the Soviet had the enemies to blow them up? But from what we know, it doesn't have any implication on the story, so it's just strange as to why we would even have the option to take it out in the first place. But, you know, whatever we do. Now, coming in at number three are the phones in ascension now yesterday i did a video on the map five i did a whole storyline video and within there i told you that five and ascension are connected in fact both maps are taking place at the same time there are multiple different phones you can find around the map ascension and when you pick them up you can hear the characters from five talking we have these same red phones that we can pick up in five. If you pick up one of the phones, President Kennedy says, need some beans for chowder here. While at the same time, it's also dry firing an empty gun. And you can actually hear him say that quote in five when he runs out of ammo. If you pick up another phone, you will hear Nixon fire a weapon and howl like a wolf, which is a bit strange. If you pick up another phone, you will also hear Fidel Castro say, come to me. The revolution dies without Fidel Castro. And he says that in five whilst he is downed. So could these little messages we hear or these little telephone calls we hear from our five characters in Ascension be telling us in Ascension that they are about to die? They all seem to be running out of ammo. We know from one of the radios in Revelations that they all end up dying eventually anyway. So is that what these telephone calls are hinting about? And it's also strange as to why the Americans are calling the Russians. Why is the US government calling these Russian scientists? The only reason I could think of is that they were working together again i've done a full storyline on five if you want to check it out i will link it in the description it's a really interesting video coming in at number two is the fact that outside of the map in ascension there is a teleporter now it's very very difficult to see but there's actually a teleporter next to the lunar lander station it's a piece of the mainframe body which further indicates that the pentagon was connected to the cosmodrome in five we can see half of a teleporter and then in ascension we can see another half of a teleporter now in the video yesterday again i told you guys that there was a standoff at darice and equipment was stole by the americans and the russians from group 935 and that included the teleporters but why they only have half is actually kind of a bit of a mystery did they freaking chop the teleporters in half and both countries take off <laughs> it's pretty strange i imagine a lot of people actually don't know about this because again it's a pretty freaking difficult thing to see it's really not easy it's not something you're going to be looking out for and also it's a bit of a mystery finally coming in at number one i want to take a look at the loading screen from ascension now if you look at the original version the strange thing is, on the right there, something is happening to this guy. And there's been so much speculation as to who this is, as to what's happening to them. I've previously said that is this the Pentagon Thief. Now again, keep in mind that Five and Ascension are connected. These maps are linked. And the Pentagon Thief is in the map Five. On the left there, we have some kind of character looking through some glass with glasses on then we go to the right where we see a character again I mean, it looks like he has glasses on so is that the same character that we see on the left more importantly is this the pentagon thief something is clearly happening to this character like he's being transformed or he's going into the light or into a teleporter or something there's been so much speculation around saying is this how the pentagon thief became who he is did he originally work at ascension and move over to five or was he a, a, a scientist at ascension went over to five for some research or something what is happening to this guy obviously we can also see the three rockets there spelling out 115 in the shadows this is all 
one big mystery and there's so many mysteries in ascension this is you know just one of the many maps that we have in zombies that have so many mysteries and Treyarch said at the end of black ops 3 that revelations will tie everything together and i guess that didn't mean everything because clearly we still have so much that i would love to learn about but those are top five secret things that i hope you didn't know in ascension if you knew all of them then you are a freaking zombie pro leave a like rating on the video for yourself let me know in the comments how many out of these you actually know if there's any more secrets that you thought i should have added into this remember that it's an old map seven years old so difficult to make a top five things you didn't know on this map but i'm trying to do it for every single one we have if you want to check out the previous ones i will link them in the description thank you all so much for watching thank you all for the support lately on the channel as well has been really really great just to see you know for a game that isn't releasing content at the moment for the videos that i'm making right now it's quite difficult um, but i'm really freaking enjoying making the zombies videos right now i'm putting so much time and effort and trying to make them the best quality i can and um, when you do that on a youtube video when you you make videos that you think aren't shit it's your pro and it makes you enjoy what you're doing so right now it's awesome thank you very much for watching and the support and i will see you in the next one goodbye